So hey guys, it's Nikki here with Lifestyle DIY W and today I'm coming to you with a flipping decor DIY that you guys actually helped me pick. So today I wanted to make a glass tear tray and I had no idea of how to make it. I had all these little pieces from Dollar Tree and I was so inspired by uh, my Latina underscore home. She has like a glam home, that's her type of style decor. And in her coffee bar area, she has this two tier glass square tray. And so I picked up the glass cutting boards like months ago and I totally misplaced them. I didn't know where they were until I found them over the weekend doing some light cleaning and I was like oh my god I'm going to make this tear tray this week and so instead of me waiting till later on in the week I decided to do it today and that's what you guys helped me create so if you have been following me today and I hope you have I asked you guys to vote on the tear, tear tray style that I wanted to create and you guys helped me definitely narrow it down out of the few designs that I came up with you guys were a big big help and you actually chose um, number one at a hundred percent and honestly and you chose number three at 60% and actually when I went over one and three I was more um, drawn to number three only because it had several it had three layers and it had a bottom tier and that's what i kind of really wanted to create a bottom tier i didn't want to just have you know the base be this um i wanted the base to actually be a bottom tier and so with the 60 percent that was well over um enough to actually create that one so let's see which one i actually did finalize and come up with Hey guys like I said I'm trying to make a glass tear tray um, even though I do a lot of farmhouse DIYs um, there's certain parts of my house like in my bedroom that are like glam and glittery that I really don't even get a chance to show you guys but I want to just my coffee bar Right, changing on all this today, and I let me get rid of these dead flowers. Good Maya. Um, but I definitely want to change out. Maybe not this, but I'm definitely changing out my coffee bar area. Um, you know, taking my DIY tray out of here, and I want to use a glass tear tray in this area, kind of just to you know give it a different look and a different feel. Um. So, and this is kind of the area where it's a little bit glitzy, <laughs> even though it looks farmhouse right now. This is the area that I usually like, you know, jazz up a little bit. Um, and so, I want to make that to your train. And I think it will look cute in that area. I can't have it too high because my cabinets come all the way down. But I do want it to be enough space to where a coffee cup can fit in here. And, you know, little whatever, whatever. So hey guys, let's get started with this DIY from Dollar Tree. I have wanted to make the tear tray for so long and all you need is E6000 and hot glue and sticks. I have two candlestick holders and you can make it as tall as you want. I also have this little glass, I guess you would call it ashtray from Dollar Tree. It came in a two pack and I have three cutting boards, the glass ones from the Dollar Tree kitchen area. And the first thing, of course, you want to do is you want to open your glass trays. You want to take the plastic off, as you see me doing here. And you can use as many tiers as you want to make. I happen to buy four, but I'm only going to use three levels for this glass tier tray. And I realized that once I was done, I actually could have made it four levels, but I thought that would have been a little bit too much. Like, it was even cute um as a two a two tier level one as well so i might make another one but with the circle glass trays that i have on the other side of my kitchen so 
stay tuned for that as well. And what you want to do is actually just line up your glass trays together. Make sure that they're pretty much all the same size. Um, plug up your hot glue gun so it can be nice and hot and ready for your glass. These are cutting boards, so they're very sturdy. They're, you know, very good for that. And you want to make sure you line them up. I didn't have my ruler handy, so I just used two envelopes to kind of mark where the middle of the glass was. I didn't do it on each of them. Once I was able to mark one of the glasses, it was easy to, you know, make sure I found the middle of each one because I glue it as soon as I find the middle. So that's what you see me doing here, finding my middle, aligning the glass up together, and then adding the candlestick holder so I could see to make sure that it was in the middle of what I was going to do. Now, this candlestick holder, um, I'm making sure that I glue the top part of the candlestick holder to the first glass with the E6000, as you see me doing here, which... Um, it was so, so easy to do. I wanted to make sure that the glue would actually stick. So I put more E6000 and a little bit of hot glue only because sometimes it doesn't stick. And I ran into that issue here once or twice, I believe, when I was assembling it. So what you want to do is make sure that you push the candlestick down as best you can, making sure that all the air is out and all the loose glue on this side is kind of adhering to the candlestick and the um, cutting board. You want to make sure that there's no air because if there's air in there, especially from the high glue, it won't adhere as best as it should. Now all you do is attach the second layer and you press firmly and you add as much glue as you can and then you add a little bit of hot glue to make sure that again it sticks very well and you just press down making sure that it's aligned i would say to make sure you're doing this against like maybe a full wall or something else to where both of the of the plates can like lean against so you can really see if it is in the middle i really eyeballed this i was able to do it you know easily and make sure it was done here's the way it looks as a two tray level and i thought that was cute too i thought it was very cute and chic for maybe like a table a living room table coffee table anything like that would be great for that too as well so what you also do is you need to take a little alcohol and just remove the glue the e6000 off of the glass so it doesn't stick you add your other level and you glue that down and you add your little glass um, ashtray to the top and it's done. You also make sure you weigh it down with something heavy. So I added my jar at the top of it so it could weigh down and I made sure I put a sign so my family members would not touch it because they would have died if I would have came downstairs and they would have broke it. But here's what it looks like. I thought it was so cute. I thought it was amazing. Of course, I decorated it with my lemons. And guys, I have a great giveaway for you because I'm doing my coffee bar this week. I have a coffee giveaway. So make sure you enter to win and the winner will be picked on in June. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And it's coffee over cardio. And, and you know that I'm a coffee barista, babe. Love coffee and tea. So I'm giving away one pack of coffee and I'm giving away my signature coffee mug. Coffee is a lifestyle. And make sure you tune in for that giveaway. I will be posting it on my instagram as well but follow the rules to a t guys because i am watching and i really want you to win this coffee giveaway so thanks for watching this lifestyle diyw and make sure you like comment and subscribe on this video i truly appreciate all the love and support i get thank you guys